a good lockdown, loving every fucking year of it. Yeah, it's been a crazy time, hasn't it? I'm just going through some, some old footage now from uh, when we went to Tokyo a couple of years back. I will say though, uh, just looking at that, that live footage, you know, it uh, takes you back to a time where people could get in a room together sweating their asses off and having a laugh. We didn't even speak their language and you still got that connection, you know. Um, so just going through a lot of the, the cutting room floor footage, really. Um, quite interesting, I've never seen any of this stuff before, so uh, yeah, let's dive on into this shit. Two, one, two. Now this stuff was actually shot after the gig. Flew over there on like a 12 hour flight, uh, played the gig. We had fucking no sleep, you know how it is. Um, and then obviously we only had like, you know, 24 hours in Tokyo. So we thought we better get this footage quick. With voice already knackered, sweating like fuck. Uh, freaking everyone out, walking down the street like a set of fucking weirdos. So here we go. Look at this guy. Keep your eye on this guy. One or two, <laughs> He's up. fucking off, man. People in your way, just walk right through them. There he goes. Off into the distance. He's got 24 minutes, never mind, 24 hours. Right, what's next? Let's have a look. Now, oh, this place was quite interesting. We, um, we didn't spend too long here because I think we got booted out in the end. Oh, here it is now, yeah. This fucking guy here. Yeah. That's got to be the uh, the universal symbol for uh, you know fuck off. I imagine. I think we got that one loud and clear. Yeah, I had to get out of there sharpish. Yeah, this place was quite interesting. So it was like a really narrow sort of alleyway with loads of little bars here and there. So you can imagine Yanni loved that. Uh, got some good footage here. I think it might have ended up in the in the final cut. Nice and claustrophobic, you know. Yeah. This guy is having the best night of his life, for some reason. <laughs> and you got this guy here filming us. Yeah, probably is a bit weird really, isn't it? Shouting your fucking head off, walking down a, I don't a give dodgy a alleyway. It's my own story. What a laugh. Oh uh, yeah, there was this little bar that was obviously sort of the right size for the people from the area, but we look a bit daft. Um, now this shot, I really, um, I like the fucking composition of it, and there's like a little toilet upstairs, you know, and um, yeah, we were sort of waiting, because Yanni had gone upstairs, presumably for a shite, um, and he took about five minutes to come down, and so it must have been a big one, but you know, you got to do it. Here he is looking nice and relaxed through his big poo. Yeah, I don't think any of this stuff made it in in the end. Why did the ass and bell cross the road? To get some porno DVDs by the look of it. Um, now this bit I remember was um, these guys here were offering us fucking drugs. Obviously we said no because uh, we do that on our own time, we don't do that on fan time. Don't do it any time, kids. Sort of made us realise the area that we were, we were in was a bit dodgier than we thought. What a side of This is ridiculous, mate. Yeah. I wonder if it's actually a Well, I've never seen three people more excited about a vending machine before. Give us that. It was serving like hot drinks, you know, which obviously for us in the UK is totally uh, not normal. So yeah, UK government, you want to get that sorted, get us some hot drink vending machines. And don't worry about fixing the potholes or fixing systemic racism. Let's have some fucking hot drink machines, eh? Hey, what about that? That'd be cool. But you want to go back here? Let's coming out of the shop, or maybe in the shop. <laughs> Some socks, actually. It's really thin. <laughs> that just fucking sums, sums Lenny up, really. This is what I have to deal with on a on a day to day basis. Some socks, actually. It's really thin. You know, we're trying to shoot a fucking music video, and he's looking for some socks, really thin. So that's what I'm up against. Be a law unto yourself. To be fair, this is what he's up against, though, because, uh, you know, him and Yanni weren't really a fan of me shouting my head off, sort of, 
off the cuff in the middle of quite a shifty, dangerous area uh, that we later found out was sort of like a Yakuza mob area, which is nice. Um, yeah, you can look in the background of some of the shots later on that, that are sort of, um, you can see Lenny and Yanni holding back, you know, looking in a shop window in the background somewhere, just trying to get away from my big gob, really. You know, guilty by association, innit? Make a promise to yourself. Don't quit neither. <laughs> Stick with me. I wish he'd stop doing that. That's what you want to fucking hear, innit? I'm just trying to create something decent. I'll That's a bit of encouragement, a innit? Believer. Now, this stuff is from the uh, the day after. We got a couple of hours sleep and then headed to this, this area called uh, Kabuchiko, which which was like a sort of red light district area. Uh, really good shots there, though. Look at that man handling on set. Not happy. There's no sound on this, but if you could hear me, you'd probably hear me go, get in the fucking shot, asshole. Uh, fucking hell, Yanni. He's doing, like, social distancing before COVID was a thing. Look at that. Two metres or what? Um, I think he moves in in a bit, because obviously we're trying to do, like, a triangle type thing. I think this shot did end up in it once he's moved. There we go. But give it to him, you know, he's got his social distance in, so he was ahead of the curve on that one. Yeah, that area that we went to for the daytime footage was uh, pretty fun to film, actually. I've been playing a game two weeks before called Yakuza, which was like, you know, a complete sort of digital recreation of that exact same place. So, you know, you've got like the same street layout. You could look at it on like an overhead map. It's exactly the same. Um, so I was planning out all these shots and cool angles virtually before we even got there you know uh, i'm a big believer in that you know visualizing something and then bringing it to fruition you know i think and funnily enough that's what the song's about so you know we've come full circle <laughs> we'll leave it there lads you know what i mean yeah we'll probably go through that daytime footage in another video you know i don't want to bore you all to death with a fucking 20 minute epic you know you're probably already bored enough we're locked down on that but things will be opening up and we'll be getting out there soon so without further ado, I will see you on the next one. All right. Mwah.